In Burma, where a military junta has been ruling for decades, the recruitment of child soldiers poses a daily danger to youths and families. Children alone on the streets are at particular risk of being kidnapped by troops who offer them money or even threaten to arrest them. <laughs> Even the junta itself, which consistently denies that child soldiers are used in its army, acknowledged in June last year the presence of underage troops and held a ceremony in which it handed back eight children to their families. The ceremony was held by the Committee for the Prevention of Military Recruitment of Underage Children. Organisations like UNICEF, Save the Children and other NGOs were invited and the news was aired on national television. Zafin Chowdhury, UNICEF Myanmar spokesperson who also attended the ceremony, told DVB that in Burma, the recruitment of children under 18 into armed groups is prohibited and punishable by the country's own law. However, there are still many more child soldiers remaining in the Burmese army and recruitment continues. Those families whose children are recruited face huge difficulties in getting their sons back. U A Min, an activist who helped families to report their child soldier cases to the ILO, said that with the support of the media, some children are returned home. In Burma, soldiers who can recruit more troops are rewarded with a bag of rice, a jar of oil and 50,000 jet. Given the country's economic hardship, such rewards attract ordinary citizens and fuel Burma's child soldier problem. UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon said in a report to the Security Council in June 2009 that Burma was among the world's top leading recruiters of child soldiers. He said that more needs to be done to prevent the use of child soldiers, with the government urged to abide by its own laws to release the remaining children from the army. <laughs>